My name is Jason Smith. I'm the Director of Business Services and Technology for Cole City School District. In today's podcast, I'm going to talk to you about how to take the data that's contained in your uh, Google Form spreadsheet, download it to your computer, and mail merge it out into a document that you can send to the end user. For example, we use Google Forms to do walkthrough evaluations for teachers. And so uh, the administrators go into the buildings, we uh, complete a form that we created in Google Documents, and that data gets populated back to a spreadsheet. Now, what we then do is, once we're back to the office, is we pull the spreadsheet down into Excel, and then we mail merge the data into a kind of a form letter that we can then PDF and email to the teacher so that the teacher gets uh, feedback related to what uh, data we put on the form as we completed the walkthrough evaluation. For example, if I were to go to my uh, Google Documents home area, um, I can click on the spreadsheet view of the walkthrough form that we use here in this district to um, um, evaluate uh, certain aspects of what teachers are doing. Here's the form right here. Now what I'm able to do is from the file menu in Google Documents I can download this spreadsheet view into an Excel document. And When I do that it will grab it, throw it down my browser, and drop it into my um, downloads folder. And So here's the file right here on my desktop. For you it, it may drop it to your desktop um, or you may have to look in your download folder to find it. Once you have the file downloaded, you should open it in Excel to make sure that the data that was out there on Google Documents is in fact the data that you want to play with. So yeah, this, this is my data. That's all well and good. I'm just going to minimize this to get it out of the way. Now the real trick here is using the mail merge function of Microsoft Word to uh, pull the data from the spreadsheet and make it into something useful that you can deliver, whether that's a document or a PDF or even a, uh, an email straight out of the data so you don't have to touch it by hand. Under the Tools menu we find the Mail Merge Manager in Microsoft Word and this manager will walk us through a series of steps to create this document. So we start with step one, selecting the type of document we want to create and we're essentially creating a form letter so what it will do is use the blank document that I have already opened in Microsoft Word as the base uh, for my form letter. Step two, this is the important one, we're going to get the data from a source. Now that source is the spreadsheet that we downloaded from Google Forms or from our Google Documents. I'm simply going to go out and select it. It may give me a security risk, it will convert it to the right file type that I need. What's important here is all of my data lives on sheet one. So it does, we're going to click OK. What you'll notice now in this area, once the data gets pulled in, is that it throws in all the field names or the header row of the data that I'm holding. So for example, teacher name and um, the admin name and something like the subject that I observe them at are all pieces of data that I want to report back to them on this document. So um, what will happen is it will pull all the information for each teacher name field, each administrator name field, and then each subject that we observed uh, into my final document when I'm done. So what I can do then is add helper text. Um, clear learning goal, for example. And when I pull the field data, the field tag over, what will happen when I actually view the document is it will substitute the teacher's name, the administrator's name, the subject area that I saw them in, and it will simply answer the question. I either selected yes or no when I uh, completed my form related to clear learning goal. So what we're able to do is to drag and drop over um, the fields that we want to report. Is it an emotionally safe environment? Um, and then our student engagement. I can, of course, add the helper text so that it's just not the raw data being pumped there. And it looks something like this. So this inserting placeholder step is really important. You kind of build your document and decide what data pieces you want showing. 
maybe I want to also add the timestamp so the teacher knows when I was in the classroom to do the walkthrough evaluation. So this is kind of the base skeleton view of what my mail merge document will look like. We don't really have any filtering of recipients and so we'll just kind of skip this part. But down here in the preview of results, if you click the ABC tag button, what it will do is show you what data is actually being pulled in your spreadsheet. So you notice as I walk through the different rows in my spreadsheet, it changes my mail merge document. So we're almost there now. To complete the merge, we have to decide, well, do I want to merge this to the printer? Do I want to merge these all to new documents so they're kind of separate? Or do I want to merge and generate email messages for each individual record? Now, the caveat here is you have to have the email address as one of the data set pieces that you're pulling from your spreadsheet. So for fun, I'm just going to, you know, merge to printer or whatever. And what we find when we do that is that we get a document that, um, that has a certain look and feel to it. So our final walkthrough report out document looks like this. We've, able, we've been able to put, you know, our logo and some graphics and report all the data that's on our form back to the teacher the way that we inserted it. Now, the downside is this doesn't happen in real time. Obviously, after I come into the classroom and do the evaluation, I input the data while I'm right there. I can then come back to my office, pull down the spreadsheet, and run it through my mail merge process so that I don't repeat and continue to make the same reports over and over, I clean up each Excel that I pull down from Google Docs so that I'm only selecting the records that I want to select to create these mail merge documents. So that's a quick and dirty way, I guess, of taking the form data uh, that falls out of your Google Form and pumping it out into a document that you can share with teachers or whomever you've, uh, whoever collected, submitted the data um, into that Google form. Check out our blog on iadministrator.blogspot.com uh, um, and you'll see a step-by-step -step handout of how to work, walk through all these steps.